to your point, I want to bring in um, Jared Leto. Now, where we see him in this new movie with Gaga is not him playing a trans person, but in the past, he's been celebrated for right. it, correct? So that was to Jeff's point. Yeah. But we want our viewers to check this out. So this is a little scene from House of Gucci. Can anyone guess? Well, we all know who it is. <laughs> Jeff spoiled it. But as you can see, you guys, you can barely recognize him. It is Jared Leto. The actor is playing the role of pa Paolo Gucci and looks completely unrecognizable. This isn't the first time Jared has transformed for a role. To Jeff's point, he played a transgender woman in his Oscar-winning performance in Dallas Buyers Club. Here he is playing Mark David Chapman in a movie about John Lennon's murder. And of course, he was the Joker wow. in the Suicide Squad. I love Jeff's conversation because on this show, this is the conversations that we have. Most people may shy away from these conversations, but this is what a lot of people are talking about on social media. I don't think that Jared Leto could be playing that role, even though he did a fantastic job with it. I don't think in 2021 that he should have played that role in Dallas Buyers Club. Now, 10 years ago or whenever Dallas Buyer, Buyers Club was, was made, it, we weren't having these conversations, unfortunately, but now we are. Yeah, I think that it's important that we have these conversations, and I think that as with anything, we can have conversations in a respectful way Absolutely. and listen to what people's opinions are. I mean, let me be honest. I woke up this morning to a video on Instagram of a woman taking off her full-blown black head. What? Yes. What are you talking about? I saw this this woman. She was a model. She, she looked like what? a black woman. And then they peeled off a whole what? latex thing, and it was a white woman underneath no. it. So, Why you know what? I'm this? glad we're having these conversations. Wait, wh Why did she do this? Girl. I mean, apparently the memo's not out that blackface is not okay. So I'm just saying, let's have these conversations and continue having them because every time you have a conversation like this, there's at least one person who's never heard this conversation before. Yeah. That's the reason why we have to continue to have these conversations. Yeah. But that's how I woke up and I was shook. I bet you were. <laughs> I'm telling you, you should see it. She literally... I'm, I'm sending it to producers right now. Yeah. I know now y'all want to see it. I'll wow. show it to you. Wow, it. wow, wow. It was crazy. Well, I'm glad that we can have these this dialogue. Yeah, and I do want to say I'm happy for Ellie. I don't want. I wasn't just posing the scenario because Tori, we talk about that all the time. I think Jared Leto should be able to play. All the time. He wasn't fantastic at the role. He was the most fantastic. He won an Oscar for that role. So to deny someone an Oscar but, for acting to do what they want, I think it's a good conversation to put out there. That's why. That's why I brought it up. But remember, you might not have seen the best transgender actor ever because they never got to audition.